Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys the weekly soul connection reading. And so this is going to be for today's date, which is Monday, March 22nd, going all the way until Sunday, March 28th. So this is a mini version of this reading this week. It's all I could fit in because of my schedule. So anyways, you guys, it's super casual. We're literally using just a few of my decks and we're on my bed. So let's go ahead and get into it, okay? I just wanted to try to at least get something in for today, even though it's kind of late in the day. So we're gonna take a look and see what is your person's energy towards you. So what is their energy towards you this week? We're gonna go into my Arrows of Love Oracle. Let's see, what are they thinking this week when it comes to you? What's on their mind? What comes to mind when they think about you this week? We have On the Horizon. Let's get a tarot here with my Twin Flame Journey Tarot. Let's see what we got. Ooh, okay. Well, this is very specific. Okay, on the horizon to communicate, surging towards you. So somebody is literally thinking about communicating with you, traveling to come and see you, uh, basically making a move towards you. That's what I'm going to say with, the, with that card combination there for sure. So you're definitely on this person's mind and they are thinking about coming towards you and communicating with you in some way this week. Now, it doesn't guarantee it will happen this week, but they're thinking about it this week, you guys. That's what we're getting. So what is going on in their emotions and in their heart space this week? Let's see. We have Eye of the Beholder. Interesting. What else? Okay, we have the five of wands. The very first thing that I wanted to say when I saw this eyes of the a beholder, it's almost like their vision is being obscured or someone is kind of trying to control the way that they see the situation. Because now we have five of wands, conflict and competition. So there's something that is kind of um, in the way. Now it might be for them, like there could be some sort of competition for your affections. There could be some sort of an obstacle getting to you, communicating with you, coming towards you. There could be somebody in their own environment that's creating some sort of an issue. But I feel like your person is definitely up for the challenge. Even though things, I feel like this, these fingers could, like a monster could be their fears as well that are kind of getting in the way. So they're kind of battling that in their emotions this week. But their head and their heart space might be battling it out this week. Um, but I feel like their head is more in a space of communicating and coming towards you, but their feelings, they might be feeling somewhat insecure or they might fear or feel some sort of fear because of some outer circumstances. Interesting energy. Okay, so let's take a look and see what it does some of this conversation or this energy towards you look like. Let's go ahead and go into my charm cards. Let's see, what do we got? Ooh, we have style. Somebody's coming to you in style. And the message I'm actually getting here, it's like their own unique style. So they're going to do something. It's kind of like their signature or it's something that they would say or something that they would do kind of like only them. It's very unique to them. It's their style. So it might not be their style to just kind of like, you know, profess their love or come towards you in a way that maybe you'd like them to. It's more or less their own style they'll be using to, to communicate or come towards you. It's very unique, very original. Uh, and it's a surprise. Look at that sweet surprise. Okay. Sorry, I've got some cat hair on the bed. <laughs> Big surprise in this cat hat hold, or household, right? Come on, Jax. So um, yeah, they're, they're coming to you now. They might be bringing you some sort of a sweet surprise. It could be in the form of candy. Yes. Um, or it could just be something that's really sweet and it's definitely a surprise, but it's like got their own style on it. It's like their own little unique flair on this. What else? Ooh, windmill to regenerate the connection, to regenerate or restore something within this dynamic with you. So they're definitely thinking about taking some action and getting things moving along again in this connection. So if it's been stagnant, you guys, your person's thinking about how to regenerate this. Yeah, and to show up, look. So somebody who hasn't been in your life, maybe somebody who you've not spoken to in a while, this is definitely um, somebody trying to show up and be in attendance in your life again, right? They're, they're coming back in is what I'm getting here from Spirit. Interesting. 
and we have lipstick evidence, okay? So they're bringing some forth, maybe like uh, communication in regards to some evidence that they care. I'm not getting that this is a negative. Um, some evidence that they care. They're showing up. They're showing you something. It's not just words. They're bringing you some physical item I'm getting here with that evidence card. They're showing you how they feel about you. So this is a little bit different than maybe they've done in the past but again they're doing it in their own unique way very interesting so what are some of those there's uh wow can i talk those fears you know those eye of the beholder what is that energy about what is their biggest drawback or fear yeah look at this caged beast you know they have a lot of, of energy they have a lot to express and to say but they are holding themselves back they're restraining themselves because as you can see here it's like this beast is restraining this person. So their own fears, I feel, or maybe even their own ego can be in the way of them really coming um, towards you without any kind of, um, you know, hesitance. Yeah. Wow. What else? Imp of Rage, Temper Tantrum. This right here, you guys, is the uh, Page of Wands. And actually, the Page of Wands is a messenger. This person does have has something to say to you. But we have that energy of Temper Tantrum. Um, is there a reason why you may be angry with them? Is there a reason why uh, maybe there may be some sort of words with the two of you? So I feel like this person, you may have had some issues or some problems or even drama in the past. There could have been some sort of competition. There could have been somebody else in the mix. There could be somebody in the mix right now um, on your end, on their end, or something like that. And so in a way, it's like they're coming, but there is some sort of challenge with this conversation or this message. And even though you're going to be pleasantly surprised that you're hearing from them again or that they're coming back around, there's still some sort of a challenge here. Okay, let's get another message. Yeah, look, I have a fire and water sign com communication here. So if you're a fire sign or a water sign dealing with fire or water, I feel like there is definitely some sort of a um, conversation because this is the page of cups now, you guys. The page of cups, crocodile tears. Somebody feels like you may not believe them. You may feel like they're just saying certain things, but I feel like this person is showing you something. Um, and I keep wanting to say this week, but it may not be this week for everybody. It may just be that they're thinking about doing this. They're, they're formulating the conversation and the words that they want to express, but they want you to believe that they're sincere. And there's a reason that you wouldn't think that they're sincere because there could have been an issue or a problem in the past. So that's probably what's holding them back is this fear that they have that you will not believe them because of some past circumstance. But they do want to resolve this conflict with you and they don't want to, they just don't want to be conflicted by this anymore. They, they, they want to resolve something with you. Hmm. Very interesting read so far. So why don't we go ahead and get some messages just from your person's higher self. If they could say anything to you right now, what would it be? I miss you regardless of how things seem. So that's the one thing that your person wants you to know. That regardless of what's happened, regardless of you know what's been going on, if they haven't spoken to you, if they've just kind of disappeared, they do miss you regardless of those facts, okay? What else? Okay, yeah, the devil's energy. I feel like you're, they're telling you that I have not been able to let you go, okay? Somebody has been hung up on you. Um, they, 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 it's like... Even though things may have gone awry and that you guys um, maybe were once in that lover's position, the devil's energy is lovers in darkness, lovers in challenge. And so your connection has become challenged, right? There could have been an addiction here. Somebody's addiction could have gotten in the way. Um, they could have favored uh, money or sex over this connection, kind of went to the dark side. And I feel that your person wants to explain to you that despite these mistakes that they've made, they miss you regardless of how things seem. It's like they've missed you all along. No one has been able to replace you. The grass wasn't greener on the other side, something like that, okay? Something wasn't as, as good as they may have perceived it to be. So what else? Oh, two want to come out on this one. So I don't know if I can meet your expectations. 
this is your person's insecurity and this is um, the hesitancy that they feel with coming towards you because they feel like what they have to say or the way that they're going to say it it's like they're gonna you're gonna have an issue with it and we also have I just have to do something else right now please try to understand and I feel like what they have to do is they have to conjure up that strength or maybe they have to get rid of whatever that conflict is or deal with this internal conflict or outer conflict that might be standing in the way um, between you and them okay so let's put some tarot on that yeah, this person definitely wants to come towards you. I'm getting specifically the signs in this reading of fire, um, Leo, and I'm also getting Pisces, okay? I got that with the Page of Cups as well as the Knight of Cups. Those are both Pisces cards to me, but definitely fire and water in this reading. Somebody wants to bring forth a romantic gesture to you, and so this is the thing. When it comes to this person, you know, wanting to um, profess, you know, their feelings or bring you this cup of love, they're, they're, not, they're not sure if they can meet your needs needs they're not sure that you're going to believe them okay so I just have something else to do right now please understand let's get this energy yeah ace of wands a lot of fire here I still have a lot of fire for you the spark the flame is still lit okay um, I feel like your person is trying to conjure up the strength and the courage to face you which is one of the reasons that we have the um the caged beast here if I could find that card wherever it went it was the strength card okay yeah, the strength card. So let's go ahead and um, get some possible future energies, okay? So what may be on the horizon when this person finally decides to deal with their fears and to deal with just whatever is holding them back, what does this energy look like when they may come towards you on the horizon? So I'm going to get a, a card from each deck that we've used so far. We have a star. And that's really beautiful because this tells me here that even though they might be in darkness right now, they are going to find their way, okay? Their fears are actually going to lead them to the correct choice. That's what I'm seeing with that. What else? Competition, yeah, to deal with this competition. Look at this, two, word, two different cards with the same word. To deal with this conflict, to deal with this competition. We definitely have somebody that is overcoming this battle here. Yep, transformative love. So that way the two of you can transform what has happened between the two of you. Somebody has changed for the better here. It's almost like it's a blessing in disguise. You know, somebody's dark side, somebody going to the dark side. It's like it's helped them to learn a thing or two about what they truly want. And it looks to me what your person truly wants is to communicate with you and to regenerate this connection. Yep. Six of Pentacles to really show up for you this time, to really give back to you, um, to have some sort of equality between the two of you, a nice equal exchange of that give and take, a, a very balanced connection. Maybe something wasn't balanced before, but they're certainly looking to balance things out with you now. Okay. I'm not, see? I'm not the same person that you remember. I have transformed. I have changed. But you may not believe that, whoever's watching the video. This might be very difficult for you when this person shows back up with whatever they have to say, okay? So um, let's go ahead and end this reading with some advice to the person watching this video, okay? So we're going to go into my Divine Feminine Healing cards for this. Performance. It says, I surrender my need to people please in order to feel accepted. I am good enough just the way that I am. So this is a reminder to the to the person watching the video to surrender your um like your need to be a people pleaser, okay? You do not have to perform for this person or for anyone else to be accepted. So if this is something that you've done before, I'm kind of getting, you're getting an opportunity to redo the performance, to go back into this movie or go back into this play and play a different role this time, a role that better suits you, that's more authentic to who you are. You know, it's like have a different ending. That's what I'm getting here. It's like you're transforming this play with this person. You're getting a second chance to transform what happened between the two of you. You guys are both going back to do things differently this time. 
frozen in time. I choose to make peace with my past. I do feel like spirit is trying to tell you to make peace with this person. This doesn't mean that you have to let them back in. It doesn't mean that you have to let your guard down and just do whatever they want you to do and just go right back into it with open arms, especially if that doesn't feel right to you. But this is telling you that this will no longer hold you hostage. You guys both have a, another chance to clear up this karma, to clear up whatever has happened. And that's a beautiful thing. Last message. And morning, I realize that all endings are opportunities to start anew. So this ending that you've had with this person, you guys, is an opportunity for the two of you to start over again. Clean slate to transform yourselves from everything that you've gone through. So I see with these two imps, okay? Let me go ahead and see if I can find the other card, okay? I see you guys both being imps, <laughs> two children, okay? Or maybe this is like you guys dealing with each other in the past. You guys were both younger. And I don't necessarily mean younger in age, even though that could be it, but you guys have both transformed yourselves. You guys have both grown so much. It's like you guys have an opportunity now as adults or later on to come together in a whole new way to transform, you know, your lives or to put forth the wisdom that you've learned along the way to have a second chance at this thing. Okay. Even if it only ends in friendship or even if it only ends with just like that truce and no longer car carrying around that heavy burden of unforgiveness, someone is wanting to come in and they're wanting to regenerate this connection to take it to the next step. Like I said, either it's closure or it is a brand new beginning and a fresh new start. Either way, I feel like there's a lot of happiness here beautiful. So anyways, it might just be kind of all over my bed, just kind of messy, not my usual get up, but you know what? That was a pretty damn good reading. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.